doesn't matter what the market is doing. Closings happen every single day. Market crashes, closings continue to happen. And I'm just sitting here like, man, look at all these deals. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Because a lot of agents are scared of markets crashing. They fear that when the market crashes, they're gonna to have to get out of the business, especially if they're new and they don't have any momentum in the business already. You don't have to worry about a recession, a downturn, a crash. It just doesn't exist for us agents, especially the agents who are working hard, understand that it's about connections, how many people we're talking to, and what we're trying to do to help these people. If I were a brand new agent, the day that the market crashed, and I knew what I'm telling you right now, you could actually really clean up, really do well during a market crash. If you understand that you just need to stay on the phone. No one knows which way it's gonna go. However, it doesn't matter to us as real estate agents. Closings continue to happen every single day. There's a buyer's market, there's a seller's market, and then there's a balanced market where it's kind of balanced between the buyers and sellers. In all three markets, there are transactions happening. When the market transitions, the clients that you have that you're working with, all of a sudden put the brakes on because the market shifts, right? The prices, you know, things are staying longer on the market, inventory goes up, you know, things are changing. They're like, oh, I don't know what to do here. And it scares agents out of the business. There's not a day that goes by, there's not a closing. It might go down to, from 100 to 10, but there's still 10 closings. That's 20 opportunities to represent a buyer or seller in one day. They're Number one, you don't freak out. And you understand that closings will continue to happen every day. The people that buy when it's going like this, not the same clients that are buying when it's doing this. Two different kinds of clientele. The ones that buy when the market's going down or transitioning, they were kind of dormant as the market was going up. Okay, now they're coming out of the woodworks when the market transitions, why? Well, the buyers, when the market is down, they want to buy right now before it goes up. And sellers that sell in the crash got to sell right now, they're in trouble. There's all this urgency in the market. Whatever the current situation is, I'm a real estate agent, what in the world can I do to help you? It's not our job to try to figure out the market or to believe in scarcity or abundance. It's our job to help people. The market's crashing. You want to buy, sell, or hold. And I want to contact as many property owners as I can during that time and ask them which are the three options that they're going to go forward with at this time. And out of the three, whichever one they're choosing, is there an agent they're going to work with on that? And if not, I would love to be your agent. I would love to stay in touch with you and I want to start building those relationships. When the market shifts, you'll have a temporary slowdown in your business. You won't be slowed down because any downtime, you should fill up making phone calls and contacting people and helping people. You should never have a moment of downtime ever. You have enough time to do those consistent phone call sessions and to reconnect with a lot of your past clients. And it's a great opportunity to reconnect with a lot of people, to make a lot of phone calls, to inform them of what's going on, keep them up to date, and see if there's anything in the world you can do to help them. Okay, we have to get out there and make calls. Those of you who have been making calls, who have built your database up to this point, bravo, good job. What I want you to do is go back and call all those people that you talked to and see how they're feeling about it, okay? See what they got going on, see how they feel about the situation and how you can help them. If you understand this concept, then you kind of have a sense of security and you kind of feel invincible to whatever the market does. This is what separates the good agents and the great agents. The great agents understand this, they transition with the market, they get right back on track where they were. It's all the same stuff, it's unlimited. For each and every agent, there's a process and there's more than you can handle. You need to talk to those 20 to 30 property owners every day. You need to come from a place of how can I help you. You need to build a database, an email database, and send weekly emails every single week on the same day of the week forever.